Hello and welcome to the Genuine Learning Blog. My name is Melissa Galasso, and today we're going to talk about some tools that the GAQC recently issued to help with auditing provider relief funds. So if you've been on any recent single audit classes or even classes that are not for governments and not-for-profits, but for um, doctor's offices and for-profit entities who receive provider relief funds, the one thing we know is change is constant and this is hard. There are a lot of exceptions to rule. There's some really unique guidance out there. The reporting requirements are very interesting. And so the AICPA's GAQC, the Government Audit Quality Center, went above and beyond and created four new tools that uh, can help auditees and audit tours perform these effectively, efficiently, and again, meeting the standards because it's super important. Uh, a lot of entities, this will be their first time getting an audit or a single audit. Um, some of these firms might be the first time that they're doing this or the employees within the firms are doing it. And so we want to make sure that we are hitting everything that we need to do. We're hitting all the unique elements. And so um, the GAQC went above and beyond and they made this available to the public. So normally GAQC is a membership uh, group within the AICPA and you have to be a member to access um, in this scenario for the public benefit, which again is the AICPA's goal. Um, they've decided to make these available to the public. So very, very important. Um, and I just want to share some of them with you in case you hadn't heard I found out about them because I am or I get the AICPA GAQC emails, um, and I want to make sure that if you aren't a member of the GAQC, I highly recommend it. It is one of my uh, favorite memberships. I think it more than pays for itself. The ROI is amazing. They do some amazing work. They do a really good job of keeping up people up to date. Um, I would just recommend that you um, take a look at that. So. A big, uh, big stride there. Um, so if you do a lot of single audits, I would definitely recommend it. Um, otherwise, this is just available for you going forward. Um, so first and foremost, uh, we have tool number one here, which is the audit requirements for provider relief funds for for-profit entities. There are three different options. One is an actual single audit, one is a program specific audit, and then one is a yellow book audit where the DHH schedule is the subject matter of the audit. Uh, and so again, it's a very interesting. So they kind of go through the requirements and they provide some understanding about how this works for provider relief fund, uh, as well as other HHS programs. Uh, and so that is available for download. It is a lovely practice aid. Tool number two is a question I get all the time. Well, I have a parent and a subsidiary. They receive separate funding. I don't understand how this impacts a single audit overall. So the GAQC also made this available for um, general and targeted distribution in the parent subsidiary relationship. This is another practice aid to help for the provider relief funds figure out what is the appropriate response here. So again, highly recommend if you're dealing with this issue, I would definitely go down this path. The next two are not necessarily practice aids so much as checklists, right? So if you are new to single audits or maybe you're experienced and just want a nice little checklist here, um, they knew, they now have tips for auditors taking on single audits, especially if you're new to it, what you should be thinking, um, some of the considerations that you want to be uh, keeping in the back of your mind as you do it. And a lot of these organizations, again, this is the first time that they're getting an audit for some of them. Some of the first time they're getting a single audit. Some of them have only had reviews historically, and now we're getting not only an audit, but also a yellow book and single audit. So again, can be quite interesting as we go through this. And so as we are looking at this, they have some tips for organizations who are subject to single audit requirements just to kind of prepare them for what to expect, um, what makes it a little bit different. Um, so again, the AICPA made this available to the public. The Government Audit Quality Center is normally a membership um, a group within the AICPA. Um, so firms who do a lot of single audits can sign up and get the information. They provide a ton of webinars, of, you know, really great alerts. Their emails are phenomenal. Phenomenal. So I definitely highly recommend if you do single audits and you or you do government and nonprofit audits, I would recommend investing in the membership. Um, but if this is a one-off, you're doing it just because you have doctor's offices, et cetera, then um, these are great tools and they're available to you. And I would just highly recommend they did a great job pulling them together. All right, so that's a wrap today on the Genuine Learning Blog. Again, trying to keep you guys up to date with the resources out there because they are phenomenal and we want to really make sure you're uh, doing a great job here. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope to see you on a future blog. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.